The Fleecer Job, GTA's introduction into your life of prime and wealth. This heist gives you a peek into the finer details of GTA missions, planning, setups and execution, also known as a heist. A fancy way of saying you're going to rob someone or steal something. This video is my attempt at teaching you guys how to do heists more efficiently, giving tips and hints to help you get through this mission with a lot more fun and a lot less headache. We've all been there before a bad team ruins the entire experience and leads to, well, less than kind words. So hopefully this video gives you a better chance at a more relaxed go at the game and better teamwork. Let's start with what Fleecer Job actually is. As I said before, it's the first heist in the game with only two setups. Setup 1, scope out. You drive Lester and your teammate to the bank to, well, scope it out and check the cash deposits. On your way back, the teammate performs a set of hacks in order to get a feel for the actual heist. It's quite easy. You then drive back to Lester's factory to meet Paige, his not-so-kind assistant. You then drive them back to your apartment and get the setup board, a key feature of heist life, planning and sorting. The board shows you the second setup, Kuruma, where you steal an armored Kuruma, of course. You go to the Mafia spot and take them out to then steal their Kuruma and bring it back to Lester's factory, handing it to Paige for repair. And that's all for the setups. The heist is pretty self-explanatory. You go and steal the money, drive away and meet the getaway driver at the bridge. Two roles are given in the heist, the driver and the driller. The driver, well, drives, obviously. The driller does the hack and drills into the deposit to steal the funds. I tried to shorten that as much as possible, but finally, let's get to the point of the video. The tips to doing this heist better and without frustration. To summarize them really quickly, here I present my teammate from the heist. To me with some tips for you drivers out there. When you're driving to Lester's factory, make sure before you get to the bridge, to go to the right of it, jump over the Ellis River, and then up to Ellis Customs. After that, take a left under the bridge, and you should arrive at the Armored Karuma, saving you 15 to 20 seconds of your time. When driving to the Fleeker Bank, try to drive on the curb as much as possible. It will give you what is known as curb boost. And do not crash. Doing all of this will save you another 20 seconds on your time. When parking the Karuma, make sure you reverse into the bank, do not hit anyone inside, and when leaving, let the driller enter first, otherwise the driller will not be able to get into the car once you are in. This will save you 5-10 to 10 seconds on your time. And my final tip, make sure when you're driving from the police that you dodge as many roadblocks as possible. And if you can't dodge one, then drive directly into the side of one of the police cars. Don't try and fit through the gaps as you will spin out and lose control. All of these tips will help you do the heist as quickly and efficiently as possible and ultimately gaining you a further minute on your time to completing the Elite Challenge. Back to you, Spectre. Thank you for the help. Now let's get into my notes on the heist. Scope out. This is an easy part. Make sure you let the one who drives best do the driving. You, the driller, should take the passenger seat and use this opportunity to practice the hack. This is very important because the hack can really kill time if you aren't good at it. Practice to your best and keep in mind, the hack in the heist will be much harder. Do not get overconfident and multitask on this if you want to save time. The driver should memorize the route. It helps to know ahead of time and plot your path accordingly. Karuma. Get some snacks and armor before doing this. The combat is very easy but it's best to come prepared for the worst. Drive to the parking lot, making sure to climb up by the left-hand side driveway. It gives you a point of view that has the enemies on one side, in front of you only. From here, fire at will and take them out. Be careful not to use explosives or to shoot the cars too much, as if they explode too close to the Kuruma, it can blow up and you fail the mission immediately. Have your teammate cover your blind side, one shoots from the left, one shoots from the right. It's wise to have the driver take their own car on this while you drive the Kuruma. Have them take the heat behind you while you drive forward avoiding the enemy cars. Heist. As stated before, there is a driver and a driller. If you aren't a good driver, make sure you leave it to the one who is. It's a role that can save time if you want this covered. 
As my teammate stated before, drive as fast as possible to Lester's factory taking the shortest route possible. Now Driller, your job is crucial here. When you enter the Kuruma, you'll begin the hack. Focus, this has to be done with less than two fails to save the most time. I hope you practiced enough. The first hack is easy as you can see here. The second one has a shortcut which is tricky to time, but if you get the timing correctly, you should be able to do it and bypass a lot of time going around the other way. The third one is not so much difficult as it is just very long. Be patient, take all the corners carefully and you'll reach the end. With these done, it's time to get to work. Get out of the car quickly and run to the vault. You don't have to care about the civilians, just get there and begin the drill. I see so many fail with this because of overheating. You can see it here, overheating loses you so much time. The trick is to not fully hold the right trigger. Treat it like driving, ease into it and pace the drill about halfway and increase the speed as required, usually only when you're 90% through the individual locks. Forward movement should be steady, keep the thumbstick constant and continue pushing forward. Keep an eye on the drill to avoid overheating, this is crucial, don't rush. Meanwhile, the driver needs to lodge the car into the front door backwards, take out the cameras and control the crowd. Just shoot near them, it's not too hard. Driller, when you're done, run and get into the car first, you'll glitch inside. The driver, get in and get to the getaway point. The police will try to hit you head on, avoid this at all costs. The roadblocks are tricky, ram in between the cars in order to get through quickly, or just drive around them if possible. And that's about it. You're on your way to freedom and not so rightfully earned money. I hope this helped you enjoy the heist a little more and nothing went too wrong. Or wrong at all. If done perfectly, you'll be satisfied with the result. Thank you for keeping up to this point. This video is, well, very long for me, but I play this game a lot and I see a lot of people fumble so much. But this without any real practice, it seems. So I'm making an entire series of GTA Online videos going over all the heists and setups to help people get by easier and hate the heists less. GTA is a very toxic game these days. I hope these heist tips at least let people rediscover the enjoyment for doing missions again, short of just making money, but for fun as well. I hope this helped you in some way. Like and subscribe and please share it with someone who actually needs it. Leave a comment with any tips for Prison Break and have the chance to be featured in the next video, which will be regarding Prison Break. With all that said, I hope to see you in the next one.